Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about one of the best free alternatives to Internet Download Manager. Now, as many of you know, IDM is one of the most popular and powerful download managers for Windows. It offers excellent download speeds, pause and resume functionality, and seamless browser integration. However, the downside is that IDM comes with only a 30-day free trial. After that, you need to purchase a license to continue using it. I completely understand that not everyone is willing or able to buy a premium download manager, especially when there are free options available that provide similar features. That's why in this video, I'm going to introduce you to one of the best free download managers that works just like IDM, offering fast download speeds, browser integration, and all the essential features you need. So let's get started. The download manager I'm referring to is AB Download Manager, an excellent free and safe alternative to IDM. If you're worried about security when downloading software from the internet, I completely understand. That's why I did my research. This application is virus free and I found numerous positive reviews and videos about it on YouTube. After personally testing it, I can confidently say that AB Download Manager is one of the best free alternatives to IDM. Head over to the official website of AB Download Manager. Once you're on the website, you'll see a button that says Get App. Click on it and you will see new pop-up window. You'll have the option to choose your platform. There is also download browser extension option for Chrome or Firefox. Since I'm using Windows, I'll go ahead and select the Windows version. You'll also see two download options, Direct Download, XE and Zip File. For simplicity, I recommend downloading the .exe file, so click on it to start the download. Once the download is complete, open the installation file and begin the setup. The installation process is simple and user-friendly. Just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Once the installation is complete, Click the finish button to exit the setup. Upon launching AB Download Manager, you'll be greeted with a clean and modern user interface. This is how the dashboard looks. Let me walk you through some of the key features. The top left menu, if you click on file and select a new download, you can start a new download by simply pasting the URL of the file you want to download. And bottom here, it will save your file in this path. You can also change the downloading path by clicking on folder button and choose where you want to save your files. Additionally, you can import links directly from the clipboard or even initiate a batch download for multiple files at once. Next, under the task menu, you have options to start or manage your download queue efficiently. Additionally, the delete option allows you to remove files with various deletion methods based on your preference. In the Tools section, you'll find the browser integration feature for seamless downloads. For example, if you want to install the extension for Google Chrome or Firefox Mozilla browser, you can do so directly from here. Under the Help menu, you have the option to check for the latest software updates to ensure you're using the most up-to-date version. If you click on Tools, you'll find the Settings option. Under Appearance, you can switch between dark and light modes based on your preference. In the language section, you can change the interface language to your desired one. In the UI scale, you can adjust the interface size to suit your preference, either increasing or decreasing it for better visibility and comfort. There's also an option to start on boot, but I personally wouldn't recommend enabling it, as having the application launch at startup can slow down system performance. Instead, it's better to open it manually when needed. In the download speed unit, you can choose to display the speed in either bytes or bits, depending on your preference. Lastly, you have the notification sound setting, which you can keep enabled if you want audio alerts for downloads. In the download engine section, you can change the default download folder location and enable the option to display the average download speed, which is recommended to keep enabled. Additionally, there is a global speed limiter feature, along with several other customization options that you can enable or disable based on your preferences. 
In the browser integration section, you have the flexibility to disable it at any time or change the port settings if needed. This software is completely free with no limitations. You can download large files without any restrictions and there is no trial period to worry about. All right, now let's see how the download manager works. To demonstrate, I'll download the Ubuntu operating system ISO file and walk you through the process. I've navigated to the download page and download the ISO file. If you've integrated the browser plugin, you'll see a download with ABDM option directly in your browser. However, if you haven't installed the extension, you can manually copy the download link from your browser and paste it into AB Download Manager. Once I click download, you'll notice a significant boost in download speed compared to the standard browser download. So that's it for today's video. If you're looking for a free and powerful alternative to IDM, I highly recommend trying AB Download Manager. It provides all the essential features of IDM and works just as efficiently without any cost. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more awesome tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.